Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speedrunning video or welcome to the channel if you are new here. So in today's video, I'm going to be building in the world of Brindleton Bay, which is the world that we got from the expansion pack, The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. And I'm going to be building an American Dream family home. So this house ends up having uh, four bedrooms and three bathrooms and it's built on a 30 by 30 lot. Now this week, I just thought it'd be really fun to sit down and try and build what in my mind is kind of like a, a dream American house in a sense of, I feel like there are so many different TV shows, there's so many different films, what kind of portray the ideal kind of American dream house. And I don't think I've ever built one before. And so I thought, well, this week it might be fun to basically give my take on that being a British girl, <laughs> because I've never been to like any suburbs in America. I have visited the US a few times. Whenever I've been to the US, I've only ever gone to New York, which I mean, you're not gonna find like a suburban family home in the middle of New York City. But I have been to I have been to New York, but I've never been to you know like the suburbs in America. And yeah, I just thought it'd be really fun to pretty much give my take on the ideal that I've been given through watching films and TV shows and just just from hearing people talk about it, kind of like the ideal American dream home. You know, white picket fence, multiple different bedrooms, nice big garden, all that kind of stuff. And so. Yeah, that is basically what I built. And so I really hope you guys like it. But getting on and talking a little bit more about the build. So like I said, this house ends up having four bedrooms and three bathrooms. Now I decorated the bedrooms to be one for a set of parents, one for a teenager, one for a kid, and then also one for an infant as well. Now, when I initially came in and I started building, Honestly, didn't really have any sort of like mindset of, okay, what are these Sims doing for their day job? You know, what's their career? What are their hobbies? And all that kind of stuff. I tried to build it to be quite generic. So I feel like most Sims families could live here and it wouldn't be like, like there's not decorations that tied to between like, okay, this Sim might be a lawyer or this Sim might be, I don't know, a scientist or anything like that. I feel like I decorated it quite generically. But once I started decorating, the room on the right hand side, you see where them windows are, that are kind of like floor to ceiling windows, they, they're pretty much all glass. When I started decorating them there, I was thinking, well it might be quite nice if one of the sims that lives in this house may be either a florist or they just really like flower arranging because I decided to make that room on the side into kind of like a little flower arranging planter room, if you want to put it that way. And then with that, where I decorated one room and I was thinking it could be for one particular parent, I wanted the other parent to then also have something to do in this house. Like I said, I did try and decorate it quite generically. So there's not going to be any like weird, bizarre objects that tie to like the police department or anything like that. But in terms of like the activities and the skills that I was thinking that the Sims could do, I then felt like I needed to give the other parent in this household kind of like a little activity skill building space. And so in the garage, I tried to make it seem like there was like a band that actively practiced in there, which I am still someone that is so wanting bands in The Sims 4. Like this is something that I've said about for literally years at this point. I just really wish that we could have bands in the game and our Sims could like teenagers. Imagine if teenagers could be in a band and we have like a drum kit or something. And then maybe like Friday, Saturday nights, they all go to the local like bar or lounge and they play together as a group. Maybe they could earn some sort of like fame from it or something. I just, I really want bands in The Sims 4, but currently we do not have them. I don't know if we ever will get them but I basically tried to make it seem like in the garage space that there was bands in the game and I tried to place down like a keyboard, a little busking station, some like guitar amps and guitars and microphones and tried to make it seem like a band was practicing in there. I didn't do it so this like band practice space takes up the whole entire garage. I tried to make it realistic because I was thinking back to, you know, Freaky Friday that's got Lindsay Lohan in, which I feel like I need to give a disclaimer. My last two videos, I was speaking about the storyline for the Parent Trap film, which again, I've said it in my last couple of videos, but it's such a good film. But that is a film that Lindsay Lohan played when she was a little girl. And I'm now referencing Freaky Friday, which is a film that Lindsay Lohan played when she was a teenager. I haven't got some like weird thing with Lindsay Lohan. She was just the top tier actress in like the early 2000 films. I, honestly, they do not make films like how they used to in the early 2000s. Just so many good films that she was in. But you know, Freaky Friday, she has a, a band and they practice in the garage. And I was thinking back to that film and I'm pretty sure in the film, they kind of have some garagey like items in the garage space as well. Like it's not a fully converted like music practice room. And so in here, in this house, I decided to make it seem like 
the band were practicing in the garage, but it still is very much garage. So we still have like woodworking tables, we still have like brooms and just random stuff that you would have in your garage, like spare tires and just random bits and bobs like that. I also placed down like a few different cobwebs into the corner of the garage space. I didn't place it down to the rest of the house, just the garage, because I feel like to have cobwebs in your garage is more so common than having a random cobweb in, in your kitchen or in your front room or something. But yeah, I placed some like scuffs onto the walls and then like random pencils or pens that looks like they've been dropped and no one's bothered to pick them up. Maybe like the band were writing something, maybe they were writing a song or they were writing like music chords onto a sheet of paper and they like dropped the pencil and then they just hadn't picked it up yet. Or maybe it like rolled underneath a table and it's just yet to be put away or just something like that. I just, I tried to make it feel as realistic as I could in that room and yeah, it was a lot of fun decorating the garage. But in terms of the rest of the household, once I kind of had this idea in my head that, all right, I really like the idea of one of the parents being a florist, the other parent is maybe in a band, maybe both of them things are just activities that the parents like to do when they're not at work. Maybe they've both just got like regular nine to five jobs. Maybe one of them works from home. There is a like a little home office space in this house as well. It's kind of in a bit of a hallway, but then it also kind of feels like a bit of a separate room. There's like a little love seat in there. There is a chess table, a bookcase, just loads of random like homey bits in that room but you could make it so it's like a work from home home office kind of space but once I had thought about the parents I then wanted to have some sort of an idea going into it decorating the kids rooms in this house and so I decided that I would decorate the teenager's bedroom to make it seem like the teenager was in some sort of like cheer squad they're a cheerleader and then decorate the room for a kid to be a kid that just really likes gaming and really likes toys which is to be honest what most kids like doing anyway but but in the kids room I decorated it so they have like this little penguin table sat on top of their chest of drawers I then placed down like a little like video game controller I then placed down the actual controllers from the debug menu I placed down like gaming posters on their walls I made it so they have a bunk bed which I feel like I haven't used bunk beds in a build in a really long time but yeah the little the little kid they have a bunk bed in their room they always have a desk underneath the bunk bed I cluttered the desk up with loads of different like random kid related stuff they also have like a little science table in there they have a teddy bear they just have loads of different like kidsy bits and bobs basically but for the teenager i tried to show that yeah the the teenager was in the cheer squad they're maybe like an active member of the copperdale cheer leading group and so i placed down like cheerleading pom-poms into the walls i placed down like that little llama statue you know the one that's meant to be like school spirit school pride place that down to their room also placed down and i'm not sure what it's called but you know what they use like if you're a cheerleader and you have like that massive horn basically that you that you speak into I placed one of them into their room i also made it so they've kind of got like a little chill out area for their friends because i was thinking that this cheerleader maybe often has their friends come around maybe they like try on new outfits together and stuff and i wanted there to be some sort of like a seating area for their friends in that room and so they also end up having like a little sofa bed area but yeah that was pretty much like how i decorated the bedrooms and then also there is a infant as well which can't really give infants too much personality they can either just be really calm they can be sensitive they could be you know just there is loads of different traits for infants but you can't really decorate them to show that and so it's quite generically decorated infant's room but Anyway, moving on from that and actually finally getting back and talking about the build and talking about what I'm doing right now. So as you can see, I've already come in. I've already built the whole main structure of the house. I've already placed down the roofs. I've already done the wallpapering. I've already done like the window placement, the floor plan, pretty much everything. I'm just currently just going around and doing the exterior back garden landscaping. I really feel like I need to address the elephant in the room because you probably have noticed it. I'm using the default roof swatch, which I don't think I've ever use the default roof swatch that we have in the sims 4 now when you automatically place down a roof piece into the game there is already like a a set roof pattern onto the roof piece itself it's not necessarily a bad roof pattern i just never use it because to me it's the default one and if it's the default one and not even just with the roof pattern but just like with objects in general if ever i place down something off the catalogue i feel like where i look at it so much from the default swatch in the little like thumbnail of the object i automatically just want to change it to be a different swatch to the one that it's originally pulled out in if that makes any sense and with that i've noticed never use the default wall wall swatch no the default roofing swatch in the game just because whenever i place down a roof normally 
I'll place it down and I'll think, right, gotta get rid of that straight away. Like, let's change the roof pattern. Let's make it like a black roof or let's make it into, I don't know, a terracotta roof or something. Let's just change it up a bit. I don't want to use the default one. But for this house, really wasn't the case. I tried to change the roof pattern and I noticed when I had done the wallpaper in it and I was flickering through all the different roof patterns catalogues, I was looking to find a roof pattern and I just didn't like any of them. I just felt like the default roof pattern just went really nicely in this house and it was just, I was a little bit phased at first. I was like, am I actually really gonna use the default one? But no, I end up using the default roof swatch and tell you what, really like it. I think it's quite refreshing for me because where I've normally automatically just placed down a roof pattern and like I said, straight away, I'm like, right, let's change it up. Let's switch this. I don't wanna use the default one. I just, it's like a new object to me. It's like a new pattern because I never seem to use it, but I feel like it really went for this house. Of course, if this is something that's gonna irritate you, feel free to download this house and completely change the roof pattern. You can make it so it's got a red roof, a gray roof, a black roof, whatever you fancy. But I just felt like for the, for the exterior look of this house, yeah, the gray default one, just went really well and so I decided to use it. But in the actual house itself, in the front garden, you might have noticed I also placed down something that might be a little bit questionable. I placed down a truck, like a moving truck. Now, to be honest, there is no real rhyme or reason why I place it down. I just thought it looked really cool. And so I placed down this, what looks to be like a moving truck, maybe your Sims have recently moved in, into the front driveway but then it doesn't really make too much sense because i did like fully decorate and clutter up this house like i tried to make this house feel like a lived in typical american dream family home and so it doesn't really make much sense in the sense of maybe the sims have just moved in maybe it's the movers truck doesn't make sense in there but yeah i just really like the look of it again if you want to feel free to delete that feel free to replace it with like a normal car or a normal truck or whatever you fancy but I just really like the look of it on the front garden but also behind the truck there ends up being a garage mural and then also a basketball hoop now i do want to mention i have placed this house i place this every single one of my houses very thoroughly so you know i don't want you to download a house of mine off the gallery and then it not work because what's the point like it might look nice but then there's actually no real point if it not actually being able to function and so i do play test every single one of my houses i noticed when my sim tried to shoot some basketball hoops they couldn't actually like shoot it and i think it was because the truck was in the way but i noticed if my sim wanted to practice dribbling with a basketball i could do that but yeah your sims can't actually actively put the basketball into the basketball hoop but they can practice dribbling on the front driveway which i mean your sims might just want to do that man they might not actually want to actively pretend to be a basketball player an nba player but yeah, I just thought I'd mention it. If you do want to interact with it, you can definitely just remove the truck and it should work like fully. It should work 100%. But I also just placed down like the garage mural and then the basketball court on the exterior like driveway because to me, again, it's very like typical dream American house-esque to me anyway, just from films and TV shows that I've watched over the years. But I also end up placing down a flag at the front. I, I found one in the live edit menu, but it had like this really weird kind of like planter around the pole on the bottom. And so you might have noticed I like moved objects, the flag post a little bit into the ground to make it look like they've got like an American flag outside their front, front driveway or something. But you would have seen, I just fully went in and decorated the whole entire garden space. Now the garden itself is actually quite a big garden, but it's just really long and narrow it's not like long as in like from the back door going to the back fence it's like really deep it's long in the sense of from the side post of the fence it's got a lot of stuff in the back garden so you end up having some sun loungers a swimming pool little barbecue area also end up having like a, a washing line some planters i do also end up changing a few of the landscaping items in the garden because when i was landscaping this house the initial like front entrance of the house just came together so so smoothly and so so nicely but then when it came around to doing the back garden because it was quite a wide space i just didn't know how to section it up and then with that the landscaping originally i just didn't know what i was doing but you might be able to see it as i've now moved on to the inside and i've started doing the kitchen kind of like behind the back windows are i placed down the swimming pool but then initially i just placed down some like paving stones but off camera i decided to delete that and then placed down some like flower bushes and then i also decided to place down some flower bushes kind of underneath the kitchen windows hopefully that makes sense but if you have absolutely not a clue what i'm on about don't worry in the screenshots you you'll see what i mean there ends up being some more landscaping in the garden to what you would have just seen but 
Anyway, moving on, like I just said, I have now moved on into the inside of the house and I've already done like the front little entrance hallway. I've now moved on into the kitchen. One thing that I wanted to make sure this house had was just a really big kitchen because I feel like the dream American house would have an absolute colossal kitchen with like a kitchen island in the middle. And so that is exactly what I built. In here, I decided to use this wallpaper, which is from the Parenthood Game Pack. Now, the reason why I decided to use this is because in this house, it's something that was so refreshing to me. I use some new base game wallpaper swatches. Now, recently, I think it was just before we got the Horse Ranch expansion pack, the Sims team gave us like a base game update. They gave us a new door that's a little bit more like it's got a few chips and it looks like someone's tried to dent it in a few times. Like they gave us a new like door swatch, but they also gave us some more wallpaper swatches and I've just yet to use them, but I use them in this house. And one of the wallpaper swatches that I've used, it's kind of like this really nice deep dark blue and you can kind of just about see it in the dining room in the next room. But I kind of wanted to follow through that color scheme throughout the rest of the house because I just wanted to seem like it went all together and it was all a little bit like matchy matchy, if that makes any sense. But for the actual kitchen itself, I decided to use these counters, which are from the Sims 4 base game. I then decided to use the Cool Kitchen Stuff fridge. <laughs> I then also decided to size it up ever so slightly, and I tried to make it feel like a proper big American fridge. I, I wanted to use one that looks like it's got... You know when you place down like a glass into your fridge and you can like get water or you can get like ice or something from it? I wanted it to be one of them kind of fridges, but off memory, we only have one of them in The Sims 4 and the one that we have is from the Parenthood Game Pack. And the fridge itself is kind of like a built-in unit around it and where I didn't go for the units in the same like Parenthood Game Pack, it, would've just, it wouldn't have looked well. And so yeah, I decided to use this one from the Cool Kitchen Stuff Pack, but then size it up to make it seem like a little bit of a bigger fridge. There also ends up being a kitchen island in this kitchen which this kitchen island was really irritating me when I was placing it down because I wanted it to have some sort of like a curved edge because to me again that's just something that I feel like is so stereotypical in like a dream American house but the thing is with the Sims 4 and the counterpieces try and place one down you can have an absolute nightmare trying to match it up if you want the counterpieces to actually be usable so you might see it the the part that's kind of like curved the other side of it there isn't a counter piece because I couldn't match any of it because I was going through like the normal counters, like the end pieces, the corner pieces, like all the different pieces to try and make it seem like this corner piece could then like wrap around in like a little perfect semicircle. It's The Sims 4, you can't do that. And so I end up placing down a little bin into that area that also ends up being one of like the built-in ovens. The one that I've used is from the Dream Home Decorator Game Pack and then also like a separate hob space as well. Over here on the other side of the wall, I wanted there to be some sort of like whiteboard, some sort of like board that maybe like tells the family, all right, we're having this, this and this on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday for dinner. This is also where you can set your Sims for like curfews and stuff. So I placed this like little bulletin board thing behind the side table also cluttered up the side table with loads of different like books and random like little jars of stuff pens and glasses and just random bits and bobs and then also in the kitchen that ends up being like a little microwave area and then also a coffee station but now as you can see i've now moved on into the next room which is the dining room so this is the wallpaper that i was talking about it's a base game wallpaper and we've actually had this wallpaper in the game i'm pretty sure since launch but recently the sims team came in and they gave us some more updated swatches of it and i'm so blimmin happy that they did because honestly i feel like one of the biggest downfalls of the sims 4 is the wallpaper swatches i don't know if anyone else agrees with me but i feel like we've got so many beautiful items now in the games like we've got so many different beautiful beds and counters and ovens and sinks and toilets and literally everything sofas literally everything but i feel like when it comes down to wallpapers we're kind of lacking in this category because we'll often get some like very theme orientated wallpaper say for example you know the horse ranch expansion pack that just came out we've got some so many good wallpapers with that expansion pack but i feel like i could only use them in certain settings i feel like in a regular suburban family home i can't exactly place down rustic wooden wallpaper paneling onto the walls I mean, I could do, but it just wouldn't make much sense to me. I feel like in, in terms of like basic kind of colours, basic neutrals for wallpapers, we are really severely lacking in the game. And so I'm so happy we finally got some more updated swatches 
of just some basic wallpapers that you can place down in just so many different houses. They're so usable. And yeah, they updated it and we've got so many of these. I decided to use this wallpaper pretty much throughout the whole entire house. So I decided to use it in the blue, in the dining room, the lounge room, and then also I think in the parents' room. And then I use the new swatches in the kids' rooms as well, which one of them is like a yellowy color. And then one of them is a pinky kind of color. I think that we actually got two updated versions of the pink swatch of memory, but yeah, I'm just so happy because it's such a small thing. But honestly, it does make a massive difference because every single house that you're gonna build, you need to wallpaper it, if you get what I mean. But either way, in this room, as you can see, I tried to make it seem like there was some sort of like built-in fireplace bookcase unit. Now, again, I really tried to decorate this whole entire house to be very typical American suburbs. I basically came in with just the idea of all the different TV shows and films and even like YouTube vlogs that I've seen over the years of like American homes and the inside. And something that I've noticed is a lot of them seem to have quite a lot of built-in furniture, like furniture pieces that are like built into the walls. And so for the dining room, I wanted to place down this fireplace, but then I wanted it to look like there was like built-in bookcases into the fireplace to make it look like that whole one wall was kind of like one unit. And so I placed down the bookcases, which are from the book nook here, but there was an ever so slight small little gap and I really didn't like the gap. So I decided to size them up ever so slightly. And then that way, when I sized them up, they just kind of like snugly fitted in with the fireplace and then it just kind of looked like one whole thing, one whole unit. But in the actual dining room itself, it ends up being a dining room at tables and chairs. Also ends up being like a little piano in the corner as well. When I was decorating this house, I basically just tried to fill it with as many gameplay activities as I could possible and just try and make it so your sims are not gonna get bored and also you're not gonna get bored. So there is like a little piano in the dining room that your sims can try and learn their piano skill or maybe just practice their piano skill. There also ends up being like a little armchair in there, little side table, plant in the corner. But but now, as you can see, I've now moved on into the next room, which is the lounge room. So in here, similar thing with the bookcases. I wanted it to look like the fireplace and kind of like the shelving units next to it were almost built into the walls. I was initially going to use the same bookcases that I use in the dining room, but I didn't want it to look too like similar. I didn't want it to look like too samey samey. And so I decided to use these bookcases, which are from the Sims 4 base game. And they kind of just like meshed in perfectly in between this fireplace. The fireplace that I've used is from the Horse Ranch expansion pack. Also in this room, I decided to use the sofas, which are from the Book Nook kit. Now, originally I was gonna use, you know, the Sims 4 base game cream sofa. We have it in, I think three swatches. It comes in a base game cream, green, and then orange as well. Initially I was gonna use that because it looks like a typical family home sofa. But then when I was filtering through the sofa category, I remembered that we have these ones from the Book Nook kit and they just look a little bit more homey and a little bit more realistic to me. And so I decided to use these. That also ends up being like a little toy box behind the sofas. Also ends up being a little like infant play mat into this room as well, because I didn't want your Sims to feel like they can't like move the infant around. I wanted your Sims to be able to play with the infant downstairs, you know, maybe nap time has just finished and they need to have like tummy time or something. And maybe one of the parents has just pop the kid or the infant onto the little play mat. And then it also is like a little toy box in this room. Also ends up being a few different plants in the corner. There is a lot of decorative things in the lounge room itself, but I just tried to make it feel like wholesome and homey and just, yeah, just like a really homey house. But anyway, now moving over, you can see that I've now started furnishing the next room, which is that home office kind of doubles up to be a hallway space that I was talking about. So in here, it is essentially, to be honest, just a hallway. So when your Sims are walking through the front door, if they walk in through the archway, if they chuck a left, they'll go into the kitchen and then also like the dining room space. If they walk straight ahead, they'll go into the lounge space. But if they chuck a right, they'll go into this kind of hallway space, but then it's also kind of like a skill building activity room. So in here, I decided to make it almost like a bit of a home office, end up placing down a desk, which is from... I think the Cats and Dogs expansion pack, I then placed down like a little cork board onto the wall. I tried to make it seem like there was post-it notes that maybe like projects that a Sims got to do or maybe like a list of like grocery items and stuff and then also a few different postcards. Also chucked on like a kid's drawing. I was thinking that maybe the kid in this household had drew something for their parent and they were really proud of it. And so their parent is like displaying it on this little bulletin board. But in this room as well, I placed down the Book Nook kit 
love seat so it's kind of like a little sofa you can make this so it seems like it's a bit of a built-in but i decided to place it down it's kind of like a standalone item that also ends up being a bookcase in this room a chess table also end up placing down some sort of like china cabinet thing on the other wall currently i'm just coming in and basically trying to clutter up this little desk space trying to make it seem somewhat realistic so i placed down a little mug which is from the everyday clutter kit i then placed down some like glasses a debug pencil also placed down at some debug books which your sims will interact with in the game so you know when you click on a bookcase and you press like read something or read a particular book your sims will put out all these different books but you can also find them in the debug menu and I don't know why I just didn't use one of the, the clump of book decorations because I do end up placing down one of them onto the desk but I decided to use like a, a combo of different books that your sims will actively pull out of a bookcase in the game and basically rotate them to make it look like some sort of like bookcase area and so basically what I did I went through the debug menu and I pulled out books that I liked I don't even know the terminology for it but you know if you've got a book in your hand you've got the front cover and you've got the back cover but then you've got kind of like the, the side bit that kind of like holds all the pages together I don't know how to explain it but hopefully you follow along with me basically I went through the debug menu and I found a selection of books that I liked like that side binding of the page cover area and <laughs> basically what i did is i then raised them up using the tool mod and then i rotated them and then i got them to the correct height i then plopped them onto where i wanted them to be on the desk i then rotated i think three of them to make it look like they were leaning to make it look like yeah some sort of like combo of book decorations but then i ended up placing down a book decoration on the other side anyway so i mean i could have just saved myself some time and just placed down one of the default decorations of books but sometimes it's nice to do that because i mean not in this particular house because i try to decorate to be quite generic but sometimes if you've got a sim and they really like i don't know music you might place down at skill building books that have got like guitars on the side and pianos and violins and it kind of matches their personality a little bit more but yeah sometimes it's just nice to do just to have like a little bit of a, a variant in your book clutter decorations but as you can see i've now moved over into this next little area it's kind of in the same room it's just under this little archway but it's kind of like the the back garden door but then it also doubles up to be the utility room laundry room space so in here i placed down a washing machine a tumble dryer also placed down this little mud cubby and then i moved objects some clothes onto one side of it also placed down like some shoes in there i placed down like a box on top of it on top of the actual washing machine and tumble dryer itself I think I placed down like some clothes, a little cleaning room basket. The one that I've used is from the debug menu from Jungle Adventure, but I placed down a little like squirty spray bottle, which you know when your sims like clean the toilet or they clean the sink or something and they use that little spray bottle. I found that in the debug menu and then I popped it into this little wicker basket. Also placed down, I think like talcum powder and something else into that basket. But I was thinking where that room is kind of like the utility room space, they would probably have their cleaning products in there. So I placed that on top of the tumble dryer and then yeah i think i ended up placing down like a plant a little note decoration there was also a little bathroom just off utility room there was like a little door and i did decide to cut out that footage originally when i was furnishing it i came into it and i was thinking i'll probably end up showing this because it's only going to be a small little room it'll only take me two seconds i was really wrong don't know what happened in that room but i couldn't decide what bathtub i wanted to use what placement i wanted all the objects to be but in there it ends up having a toilet a sink and then also a bathtub as well i was more so thinking it would be kind of like the area that this household would wash the dog because i don't know if you've noticed but i did decorate this house so it has got pets there is a little box in the laundry room and then also some food bowls in the kitchen i was personally thinking that this family has both a dog and a cat of course if you don't want to play with pets you don't have to include them but i wanted there to be some sort of like little washroom for say the dog when the dog goes for a walk and they're a bit muddy i just think it's handy and realistic to have some sort of like washing area for them by some sort of like entrance to the house or exit of the house and so yeah i ended up placing down a little tub into that room i would love if we had actual like dog baths in the game but unfortunately we don't have any of them and so a bathtub we'll just have to do but yeah i decided to cut it out because it just took me an embarrassing amount of time for such a small room i <laughs> just i couldn't figure out what, what even toilet i wanted to use and what what sink i wanted to use and how i wanted to clutter it up and so yeah i did decide to cut it out but to be honest you're not really missing much it is just a small little bathroom but then it quickly you would have seen me do it the small little like flower arranging planter room in there it's very short and simple we have the flower arranging table which is from seasons also pop down at some planters and i've already got my sim to come in and pre-plant the planters in there i think i end up placing down a christmas rose a snapdragon and then a daisy and then i think nap nip 
you know the Cats and Dogs expansion pack? We have a series of different flowers that your sims can grow. And depending on the flower, it depends on how the cats around it will kind of interact with it and like what their interactions are going to be. I placed down the napnip one, not because I want the cat in this house to be really sleepy. They could be, by all means, but the, the napnip is like this really pretty white flower. And so, yeah, I placed it down to there. But as you can see, I've now moved over to the next room, which is the garage slash band space so like i said i really tried to make this garage space feel as realistic as i could possible so in here i basically started off by placing down the majority of the musical instruments and try and find their placement because i knew that it was such a small tight space and i knew that i didn't want to take up the majority of the room be in this garage area because i still wanted it to feel like an active garage so i placed down this little shelving unit by the wall it is from the strange wheel game pack it looks like it's got like boxes and tubs and like a, a spare light and just random just garagey bits and bobs basically i placed that onto the wall and then once i placed that down i then started coming in and placing down like the keyboard the busking station also placed down a microphone and like a little guitar and stuff the uh, busking station itself looks like it's got some sort of like guitar amp so it kind of like fitted in quite nicely into the room but once i placed all that down i then realized how much space i had like left to work with so then on the other side i placed down at some counters the ones are from the sims 4 base game i then placed down like a little woodworking table i went through the debug menu i found those at random like hammers and spanners and like tape measures and like pencils and just like random stuff basically like i feel like a garage space for a lot of people it's just basically like a junk room like you just shove all your random stuff in there didn't you so i placed down basically loads of random bits and bobs in there placed down some brooms some like household bikes i imagine that maybe this family goes on like off on bike rides and stuff so i placed down some bikes into that room and then yeah also, also just like the musical instruments in that room as well and i want to let you know it's fully functional like it fully works it looks tight i know it looks very tight it looks like it shouldn't work but i i came in and i play tested it like always and yeah i ran into a few different problems but all i had to do was like budge up the keyboard like half a tile if that more towards like the door and once i did that then my sims were able to interact with all the musical instruments and also the garage mural behind the actual like musical instruments itself that is also a fully functioning object your sims can spray graffiti on that but anyway now moving on you can see that i've now moved on to the upstairs portion of the house and i've started off by just doing the entrance hallway into i say entrance hallway entrance hallway into all the different bedrooms so when you first walk up the like the set of stairs you kind of have two archways leading into almost like two different wings of the house so you walk upstairs you've got a side table i clucked up the side table popped a few like plants and like just a few different like clutter pieces some decorations to make it feel really homey but if you chuck a left you go into the hallway space which i try to clutter up the hallway space in there to be quite kid like because that little hallway goes into both the kids room and then also the infants room but then the other hallway kind of leads around into the main bathroom the parents bedroom and then also at the teenagers room but i tried to show through the decorations that one of the hallway spaces was like outside the kids rooms and so yeah i tried to place down some more like kid like clutter onto like the side of it i placed down i think a decoration that looks to be like spare toilet rolls that have tried to be made into like rockets or little faces and stuff and like pens and pencils and just random like kidsy bits and bobs basically outside the kids room but currently you can see that i'm just coming in and doing one of the bathrooms in this house so this bathroom ends up being the bathroom that i imagine both the parents and then also the teenager share initially i would have liked it so the parents could have some sort of ensuite because i feel like that is quite typical in american houses but for the way that the floor plan worked out I kind of wanted the parents to have rather a walk-in wardrobe than like a, an ensuite. And so, yeah, that is the bathroom that both the teenager and the parents share. In there, I decided to use it, the cats and dogs bathtub. I think also the matching toilet. There is also a little counter sink area. The counters that I've used are from the vampire game pack. And I tried to clutter it up to show that the teenager also shared that room as well. So I placed down this one decoration and it looks to be just some sort of like plastic box. And it's got like hairbrush and like hair clips and you know like just stuff that you would have when you're getting ready so i placed that down into that bathroom to kind of show that the teenager also uses that bathroom actively you would have also just seen me quickly do one of the other bathrooms in this house like i said there is three there is one off the utility room which i decided to cut out and then there is the two upstairs the other one that i decided to show ends up being i think the right terminology for it is a jack and jill bathroom i really hope that's the right wording for it when i was little my mum randomly told me that two bedrooms that share a bathroom is called a jack and jill bathroom and i've just 
I've always just taken her word from it. I've never actually Googled it to make sure that's the right the right terminology. But yeah, hopefully that is the right wording for it. But either way, that is the bathroom that both the kid and then the infant in this household share. So, I mean, I don't imagine that the, the infant gets up out the crib and then goes into the toilet. I imagine that that is where the parents of this household will like give the infant bath time and stuff. But in there, I use the shower and bath combo. And the one that I've used is from the Parenthood Game Pack. And it looks like it's got all these different colorful elephants on it. And it's just so sweet and just so perfect for like a kid's bathroom. Also end up placing down some like wall decals onto the walls. The ones that I've used are from the bathroom clutter kit. Some of them have like a little turtle one. I think there is also one that has like all these different shapes. And then I think I also used another one that might have like a, a whale decal. But then on the actual sink in the kids bathroom itself, I placed down like a little rubber ducky and then also like a little sponge that I imagine that the kid maybe uses when it's bath time. And then also placed down like a little soap dispenser. But I used the one that is from the bathroom clutter kit and it looks like it's got like a void crotter on the soap decoration which I never normally use that one and so I thought it'll be really fun to use it in that bathroom but either way moving on as you can see I've now moved over and I started furnishing the bedrooms started off by furnishing the kids room so in here I decided to go for this grey wallpaper which is from the parenthood game pack this is the only bedroom that I didn't use that new updated wallpaper in just because I wasn't really sure what colour scheme I wanted to decorate this kids room in and to be honest it ends up being like a mush of loads of different random colours which I feel like is quite realistic for a kid but in this bedroom one thing that I did in both the kids room and then also the teenagers room that I personally feel like makes it so much more realistic is I gave him these bedroom doors that seem to have like more posters and more like individual decorations on them now throughout the whole entire house I use these doors which are from the high school years expansion pack it's honestly it's just a plain white basic door but also with the high school years ep we've got a version of the door and there's different like posters and decorations depending on how you want to decorate a bedroom and i decided to use one up for the kids room and it was just such a small little detail but it had some posters that kind of indicated what the kid liked and it kind of went along with the storyline for this kid in my head anyway but in the kids bedroom i end up using a bunk bed which is from the dream home decorator game pack I placed down like a little desk area underneath it place down like a lamp and some books and like some random like model sculptures also end up placing down a parenthood chest of drawers kind of like where you would enter into their bedroom and then that's where i place down that little penguin tv also place down like a video game console some speakers some more kids decorations and then also in that room as well that ends up being a science table and then also a dinosaur teddy bear and then there is also a kids toy box that is on the downstairs portion of the house so pretty much the kid in this house they're set they've, they've got enough activities to keep them occupied but now you can see that i've moved over into the next bedroom which is the infant's room so in here of course it ends up being a changing table as well as like a little tiny bin and then also a crib which are like the essential parts to any infant's room there is also another one of them play mats there is also one downstairs in the lounge room like i said i didn't want like the infant to be tied to their bedroom i wanted them to feel like they're an active sim and even though the infant can't walk they can you know, they can move about throughout the house and so i do end up placing down at one of them play mats downstairs but i thought it'd be nice to also have one in their bedroom also end up placing down this rug which is from the horse ranch expansion pack it is just so cute and just so perfect for both infants and toddlers room it's got like these little sheep on it it's just it's just so sweet but i place that down into the infant's room also ends up being like a little bookcase area there is also a teddy bear which initially i was a little bit worried if they could interact with now i have tested this house with both an adult sim a kid's sim and then also an infant sim and when i aged the infant up to be a kid so i could test all like the kid bits around i see if the kid could actually interact with the teddy bear and yeah the the teddy bear is a fully usable teddy bear for the infant even though they won't interact with it when they're that little when they age up to maybe be like a toddler or something and you can like update the crib to then be a toddler bed it is still a usable like toy that they can play around with but now moving on you can see that i've now moved on into the next room which is the teenager's bedroom so in here i had so much fun at decorating this room to be for a sim that i imagine to be in like copperdale's cheerleading squad so i used the bed that is from the high school years expansion pack i used it in this red swatch which 
I don't think I've used it in this red swatch before. I mean, I might be completely wrong, but I don't recall using it in this red swatch that often. And so I decided to use it in the red in this room. Because I had a pink wallpaper, I felt like if I was to have the pink bedspread as well, it would have been a little bit too much pink. So the red kind of like broke up a bit, if you get what I mean. But I also ended up placing down like a little desk area in this room, a little love seat. And I tried to make it feel like this sim was an actual cheerleader. So you might have seen it on the walls. I placed down these like cheerleading pom-poms, also placed down like a little llama statue which is meant to be like school spirit, school pride. There's also like a, I think it's a megaphone but not a megaphone decoration. The one that I'm talking about is the one that I was saying that cheerleaders will use and we got it from the high school years expansion pack. I placed it down to the desk. I think you're meant to use that when you're like you're doing cheer practice or something but I haven't personally seen Sims interact with that in, in my personal gameplay but I've definitely seen stuff like that that cheerleaders have in like films and TV shows and so I popped that onto their little desk area. Also tried to make it seem like the Sim that lives in that room is very into self-care, very into like you know looking after themselves, painting their nails and stuff and so I tried to make it look like they had some sort of like nail varnish area now i don't know how well i was able to put it off but basically you know that wicker basket that i used downstairs in the laundry room where i tried to make it seem like they were like cleaning supplies and stuff i used the same wicker basket in the teenager's room but i placed down like this little like nail file nail bottle decoration and then also multiple different nail varnishes into that little basket i was thinking maybe that's like their nail varnish bag or something and i popped it next to their little love seat i just thought that was so sweet but yeah that was at the teenager's bedroom as you can see i've now moved over into the last bedroom in this house which is the parents room now where I was trying to build the dream American family home I felt like it was absolutely essential to have some sort of like walk-in wardrobe big closet space and so this is me basically <laughs> trying to make that so what I did is I just built like an extra little room just off the, the like the sims actual bedroom and currently I'm using a combo of windows and then also a door frame to try and make it seem like these windows are actual doors, but they've just kind of been left open. And on the inside is gonna be where your Sims are gonna be able to like change their clothes. I have faffed about with this for so long and I, I didn't know what like clothes unit I wanted to use. I didn't know if I wanted to use wardrobes or if I wanted it to be like a built-in wardrobe or, or what I wanted to do. In the end, I end up using some base game floor to ceiling wardrobes and then also popped a mirror into this little room as well. And then on the actual like windows that look like their doors, I then merged in some curtains. So maybe if your sims are in there and they're getting changed, they can like close the doors and then pull the curtains over. Then they've got like a little bit of, a little bit of privacy. But also in this this room on the other wall that ends up being a double bed the one that i've used is from the cats and dogs expansion pack it's kind of like a, a light wooden bed frame but then the actual bed spread itself is kind of like a dark brown and i don't know i just felt like it went with the, the rest of the house quite nicely also end up placing down some bedside tables tried to cutter them up also end up placing down i think a armchair in that room and then i think i finished it off by placing down a cat bed but apart from that i'm gonna go around finish it off and that is pretty much it so anyway guys i'm gonna end this voiceover right here as always you can download this build via the gallery my gallery id is jessica pie yt or if you search for the hashtag jessica pie yt or just the hashtag jessica pie as always thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always if you do like my content then please do subscribe and hopefully i will see you in my next sims 4 speedboarding video bye guys